Welcome back third graders to our science lessons. In this video, we're going to review the lessons we have covered in unit 5 and then do the unit review together. Let's refresh our memory. Inherited traits are characteristics organisms have at the beginning of their lives that they inherit from their parents. For example, this baby tiger inherited a lot of traits from its parent, such as its fur color, stripes, and the number of legs it has. Also, these two parent flowers had this offspring, which has the same colors from both parents. We now know that sometimes a plant gets too much or too little of something it needs. This can affect the plant's growth and how it looks. For example, too much sunlight, a change in nutrients in the soil, or even cutting plants too short can all affect how a plant grows. We said that adaptation is a trait or characteristic that helps an organism survive. For example, the armadillo lizard and the alligator snapping turtle both have a hard shell and a strong jaw, and they can both stay inactive for a long period of time to save energy when there's no food available. So, animals and plants have many characteristics that help them survive and reproduce. Like this cactus plant, for example, it protects itself from being eaten by its spines or thorns. Camouflage is when an organism blends in with its surroundings, like when we talked about the leopard seal and how it can blend into the ocean through its color. The dark color on its back helps it hide if it was looked at from above, and the light color on its belly helps it hide if it was looked at from below. Mimicry is when an organism mimics or copies another organism. If you remember the viceroy butterfly that mimics the monarch butterfly to stay safe. Many animals live in groups. Being a part of a group helps animals obtain food, defend themselves, and cope with changes. Like the organisms living in the coral reef, or this pack of wolves that hunt together as a group. We also said that different populations live in different environments, and changes in the environment can affect organisms and their habitats. Like, for example, this crack in the land. Due to this natural disaster, living things, especially animals, will find it very difficult to migrate and move from one place to another. In your books, pages 342 to 344, we're going to answer the unit review together. Pause the video here if you would like to read the questions on your own and try to guess the answers, then unpause to continue. Remember, you can pause the video anytime to copy the answers on your book. Number one says, which is an inherited trait in plants? Is it A, the color of their flowers? B, the amount of sunlight the plants receive? C, the amount of water the plants receive? or D, the kind of animal that eats its leaves. As we mentioned in the beginning of this video and in the lessons before, plants inherit some physical characteristics like the color of the flower from their parents. So the answer is A. Number two, which inherited traits do animals have? Select all that apply so there may be more than one answer. Is it A, the colors of their fur? B. The numbers of limbs or legs they have. C. The amounts of food they eat. Or D. The habitats they live in. Remember what we said about the baby tiger. It inherits its color from its parent, so A is correct. And it also has four legs just like its parent, so B is also correct. In number three, we're going to select all that apply. A plant that gets too much of a need met might a grow leaves too large b die from receiving too much sun c develop roots that grow too deep or d have trouble growing due to too much water remember that too much or too little of something a plant needs will harm it and affect its growth so too much sun and too much water will both affect the plant badly now for number four, I want you to skip it and move to number five on the next page. 
In number five, we will match each physical adaptation to the description of the turtle's adaptations, which are A. Hard shell B. Strong jaws and C. Period of inactivity. Let's fill in the blanks with the letter that matches the adaptation. So we have saves energy when food is not available, uses to eat tough grass, and prevents predators from eating it. We said that a turtle can stay unmoving for a long period of time when it does not have enough food, so the answer is C, period of inactivity. In the second sentence, the key word is tough. To eat tough grass, a turtle needs a strong jaw, so the answer is B. And finally, predators will avoid eating a turtle because of its hard shell, so the answer is A. In number six, we're going to fill in the blanks with the correct words from the box. We have adaptations, traits, habits, and families. Notice that there are only two blanks in the paragraph, which means we will only use two words from the box, not all of them. Organisms have blank that allow them to survive in their habitat. Remember when we talked about jaguars and how their color affects how they hunt to survive. A tan jaguar can easily hide in the grassland, while a black jaguar hides in the shadowy trees because of its dark color. The color of the fur is a trait that organisms have that help them survive. These animals also have adaptations that make them very successful in their environment. Look at the plant in number seven. We need to choose all the characteristics that may protect it from being eaten by animals. We have A, spines, B, flowers, C, waxy skin, and D, green color. The flowers and its green color will attract animals to it. However, the spines and the waxy skin will prevent animals from eating it. In number eight, we're going to match the physical adaptation to the animal that uses it to survive. The adaptations are hard shell, mimicry, camouflage, and sharp claws. The animals are eagle, turtle, viceroy butterfly, and a leopard seal. Which of these animals has a hard shell? Yes, that's right, the turtle. Mimicry is when an animal copies another animal to stay safe, just like what a viceroy butterfly does. Camouflage is when an animal blends in into its environment like a leopard seal. And finally, the sharp claws that an eagle has to help it catch its prey. As for number nine, how might living in a group help animals survive? Is it A, coping with change? B. Fighting each other for food, C. Hunting, or D. Protection. When animals live in groups, they do that to cope with change and to hunt together like a pack of wolves and also to protect themselves like the coral. And finally, number 10. In the photo, we can see a crack in the land. How does this natural event change the environment? Is it A. Pollution, B. Food loss, C, human change, or D, migration blockage. We said earlier that when a crack in the land occurs, animals won't be able to move and they won't be able to find enough food. So the answers are B and D. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will start a new unit, Unit 6, where we explore fossils and discover animals that lived long ago.